Hey everybody, how you doing? It's your boy Buster. Hope you're having a blessed day. So basically, we're going to be using DS4 Windows to use your controller for Black Ops 2. So your PS4 controller for your PC, Black Ops 2 Plutonium. I'll show you how to do it. This is how I run it. This is how I've been doing it. So you're going to want to type in Google search right here. You're going to want to type in DS4 Windows. I'm typing with one hand. Alright, so you're going to go to the first link right there by J2 Kings. A good website. I trust it. So go to download now. You want to go for the latest version. They got that version. Don't go there. The newest one. Click that. Okay, I'm, I don't know why I kept clicking it. <laughs> go to DS4 Windows, right? The zip. Click that. It's going to download. It's going to scan your download to make sure it's safe. Blah, 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 blah. So then it's going to bring you to this right here. Once you go and look for your downloads, this is what it's going to show. And you're going to want to click Windows here. Right click. You're going to want to extract all. So when you extract all, it's going to look just like this right here. You want to make sure it says virtual bus driver right there. That's how you know it's fully extracted. All of them. Those two tabs. And then you want to click on the bottom one, right guys? So click on that one. And you know it's working. At first though, you want to make sure the controller is not plugged in, guys. Okay, Make sure the controller is not plugged in. You want to go here. This is going to be all your settings and stuff like that. Real simple. You can add a controller name right there. I named mine controller. Not a big deal what you want to name it. But yeah, for the video's sake. I name mine controller and then when you do got it plugged in you know it's working because it's gonna have all that on the screen right there it's gonna have the uh, whole ID status that's basically your controller that means it's plugged in with the micro USB I got a full battery it's kind of cool it shows you those stats you can also change the colors if you want I'm gonna keep mine blue but uh yeah basically that's it that's all you gotta do and then what, what you're gonna want to do though if that doesn't work it'll work but you gotta fully install it. There'll be a screen there for you to to look at. It's gonna say for um, Windows 7 um, PS4 controller. You're gonna want to click that install this installer. It's gonna show a, a PS4 controller. Then you're gonna want to shut your system off, reboot it up, go back to this screen right here, and your downloads. Double click that again, and then this will pop up after you plug in your controller it's not going to show it right away so reboot go back to the screen your downloads after you extracted them double click and there you go boom it's going to have your controller you should be good to go you can what you got to do though now to actually use your controller now to play you got to make sure you keep this screen up don't close out of it it's not going to it's not going to act like your controller's there unfortunately and to make sure your controller's working too before you even start playing as you move your joysticks around you can see them on the screen. I'm moving my joysticks around. It's working just fine. You're good to go. That's a good sign. So keep this window open right here. And then just go straight launch your uh, Black Ops 2 Plutonium and you should be good to go, guys. Any more questions, let me know down in the comments section below. If you have not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell on all. And drop a like. I would greatly appreciate it, guys. God bless you. Have a good day.